Hello everyone and welcome, or should I say, Stadabo Dobadan. That's right, today is Sunday, March the 1st, and I'm in Studensky Park in Belgrade, Serbia. And this video is yet another Belgrade food video. But three things you will not be seeing in this video. Budek, Pljeskovica, or Shavapi. You're going to be seeing a whole lot more. Belgrade is food heaven. The streets of this awesome city are lined with a seemingly never-ending number of restaurants, street food outlets and bars. Enough to keep your stomach full to the brim for life. So far in my Belgrade series we've had some commonly googled dishes that you can find on every website under the sun. But today we're delving deeper into popular food in this city by checking out three spots in the centre of town as well as Savamala, including a hearty dose of plebranats, some ginormous Skadalia and Bavarian Kobasitsa, in addition to these babies, a potato-like dumpling containing a variety of fillings. So today I am in Skadalia. Remember this from an old video, right? And today we're doing something a bit different. So as a foreigner, me, basically you come to a country like Serbia or a city like Belgrade and you have a lot of dishes like the ones I mentioned earlier. You don't get an opportunity to experience some other dishes that only a local will know about. So on that note, <laughs> We have a local in this video. Hi there, guys. Uh, I'm Igor. I'm a student of history here in Belgrade, and I'm a local. So uh, I also run an um, Instagram uh, food page uh, about the food in Belgrade. So I hope to uh, enlighten you uh, in uh, food in Belgrade and what you should uh, eat and what you should not eat. Brilliant. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Lovely. Let's and go. what do we have here? One All second. Right here. Um, <laughs> this is Rakia. It's like a famous uh, Serbian brandy and most uh, foreigners who come here uh, have to get a shot so maybe you should visit it later. Awesome, we're gonna do it later. Let's get going. <laughs> Okay, we're at our first spot and we're having some sausage. Igor's going to tell you a little about it. Or is it called Kova That's right. Kova Sitsa. Kova Sitsa. 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 So, uh, this place is very famous with the locals here. It's in the very touristy Skadalia uh, street, but not any tourists know about it. So, these guys make their uh, sausages from scratch. It's all homemade and they're really juicy and scrumptious and yeah. And there's lots of different varieties, right? Yeah, there's um, the Skadalia sausage, there's Bavarian sausage, um, venison sausage, uh, sausage with cheese, uh, beef sausage, so yeah. Uh, you can try them all and uh, not get bored. I love sausages, and it's huge, and it's massive. Let's, let's bite into it. Right, hang on, hang on. Meaty. Mm. It's so like I, everything in Serbia. Yeah, everything is meat in Serbia. I have, um, what do I have in it? Mustard and uh, nebes, my favourite. I know that's not a traditional thing to have, but I love it, so I'm having it. Why not? Yeah, awesome. sure. I just have mustard. I'm a bit of, bit of a traditionalist, but yes. Yeah. Okay, so what makes these sausages different from like uh, usual Serbian sausages is they're not as heavily smoked and not as fatty and oily, which, uh, I mean, they're delicious, but they can be uh, a bit strong for some people. And these are really light and flavored with uh, lots of herbs, so uh, that makes them really good compared to others. Right, that sausage was amazing. We're gonna go somewhere else now for? For knedle, or uh, potato dumplings, uh, which is um, a Central European food. I mostly filled with uh, fruits or chocolate or something. So we're gonna check it out. Sounds good, let's go. Okay, so here we have two 
potato dumplings. Uh, this one here is like the more traditional one, the ones that grandmas make in Serbia. Uh, they're filled with plums usually, the, the traditional ones, or apricots. And um, this place actually has uh, experimental uh, knedle, uh, like this one with uh, three types of chocolate. So. We're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to try it both today and uh, see how they compare. Ooh. Is it good? Yeah, it is. Awesome. Really juicy. So juicy, and it's and you were saying before that they have like the raw ones and they um, boil it. Yeah, so so it's always made with potatoes, uh, flour, uh, water, eggs, I think, and then they put full plums inside. They make it into a bowl, boil it, and then cover them in uh, breadcrumbs. Brilliant. Mm. Right, it's now a David reaction cam to the chocolate one because I don't like plums. Um, so it's very soft inside, doughy, and the outside, as you can see, it's covered in like a, I don't know, like a goldy, crispy stuff, who knows, and filled with chocolate. You can't go wrong with chocolate, so let's do reaction cam. Right, we've got a wobbly table, so apologies if the shots are wobbly. Mmm. Mmm. I'm liking it. It's weird, potato, you wouldn't have that with a dessert. But apparently you do. Lovely. Soft, light, and sweet, full of chocolate. I'm loving this. Professional YouTuber as always, food all over my face. I just said, this looks like a scotch egg, but a dessert scotch egg. Wonderful, look at that. Mm. Right, we've had a little break because I'm going to be full of food in a minute. Um, so we're going for a little walk. And it's, the one thing I'm noticing today, I'm learning stuff because I walk, I've been walking around Belgrade for weeks and weeks now. You know, when I go from the A1 bus to my place or whatever. And I don't really know about where I'm walking. But today I'm learning about places that I'm walking. I'm blown away. So where are we now? <laughs> uh, this is um, a quarter of the city called uh, Kosančića Venac, which might be a mouthful. For it's most of you. a mouthful. Yeah, can't pronounce that. Um, <laughs> it's a cobbled uh, street quarter with the buildings from the 19th century that are mostly preserved the way they were. So, and most tourists don't even know about this place. So definitely check it out. Awesome. It's near the cathedral. Just uh, <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> right, let's get some scenery shots. I've just been informed that this is one of the only vegan restaurants in Belgrade. And I'm noticing there isn't many places available that uh, are for vegans, yeah, if you know what I mean. definitely, because I guess Serbian culture is focused on eating a lot of meat. Absolutely. Because um, most Serbians in the 19th, uh, 20th century were rural people and, people and they are used to uh, having pigs and cows. Mm. So meat eating is uh, big part of our culture. Absolutely, and it's very much part of mine. Yeah. I'm a carnivore. <laughs> okay, so uh, welcome to the saddest spot in Belgrade for a historian. Uh, this was the place where um, once, uh, 100 years ago, uh, the building for the National uh, Library stood. It was bombed in uh, 1941 during the Axis invasion of, of Yugoslavia, and I think thousands of historical books from the Middle Ages got wow. burned and we're now left with uh, barely anything. Nothing. So wow. Really sad for mm. historians.
Right, we've just got off the tram, and guess what? That was my first time ever on a tram in Belgrade. I've been here for how long? Like eight weeks. Still haven't been on a tram, but that was my first time. It was amazing. And we're going to a restaurant now. We're going to have the Branats. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. The Branats. It wasn't really okay, <laughs> let's face it. Um, it was just something I always wanted to have in Belgrade, and I haven't had it yet. Um, and we're going to have some other stuff as well, right? Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to get, but uh, we'll check in with you later. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, so we're outside this restaurant. What's it called? Uh, Zavichai. Zavichai. Okay, and there's something up there that says homemade food. And you were telling me something earlier about homemade food. Uh, yes. In... Um, uh, yeah, we have um, in Serbia, we have like at home dishes and restaurant dishes because Serbians mostly when they go to restaurants they don't order uh, sarma and uh, beans and stuff like that because. Um, we, we don't we don't know if it's fresh, and we usually order grilled meats. But um, some restaurants uh, make their sarma and beans really good, and this is one of them. Oh, and sarma takes how long to cook? Like 16 uh, hours overnight or something? 12 or 16 12 hours. hours. Wow. If it, the longer it takes, the better it is. So. Awesome. Let's eat again. Aha! Uh -huh. There's plebenats. Mm, so there's lots of meat dishes, I can see lots of sausage, lots of chicken, lots of... Oh, there's everything. Meat lovers heaven. Mm. <laughs> okay, so we're in the Zavichai restaurant right now, and uh, my dish right here is uh, uh, the Leskovačka Mučkalica, which is like a stew uh, from the south of Serbia with pork, peppers, onions, potatoes. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Spicy. Spicy. Spicy is good. I don't normally encounter much spicy food in Serbia. Um, At least not yet. Oh, okay, interesting. Awesome. Okay, it's my first time having pebranets. One day, I'll get it right. Oh, so there's beans? Is that potato in it as well? Mm. Oh, am I going crazy? Uh, there shouldn't be. There shouldn't be, but there is, apparently. Mm. Loving it. Beans, good. Oh, the taste is amazing. Hang on, hang on. Maybe there isn't potato. I don't know. I don't think there is. Mm. Spectacular. A very hearty, hot meal, I think, that will fill you up, warm you up on a cold February afternoon. It's not even that cold, is it? <laughs> it's like 15 degrees at the moment. With, ah, onion. Onion, right, yeah. Ah. Or leek, sometimes they put leek inside. Onion or leek. Look at the size of that sausage. It's massive. More sausage. Jesus. One thing you've also got to apparently do is dip bread in the beans. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Lovely. It is literally like, like beans on toast in the UK, except with bread. And I'm dropping it all over the floor. Brilliant. Right. <laughs> We've eaten Plebranach. Uh, oh, I can't do it. Let's start again. <laughs> that could be in the bloopers. We've eaten Plebranach. Finally, I hope. And uh, we are full. We're absolutely full. Definitely. Yeah. And um, I've got to say, I've learned more today about Belgrade and about Serbian food than I have in the entire time I've been here. So check out Belgrade Eats. Where is it? It's down below. Uh, down below it's yeah. down below. Instagram if you want to catch up with Igor. Um, also history, we've learned a lot about history today, well I have, he already knew it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so um, thanks for watching. Obviously there's gonna be other dishes that you could have, we could have tried in this video, but we, our stomachs are already so big, right? Yep. Um, so perhaps I will check them out in a future video. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, Igor, where am I gonna be going next? No, be sad. That's right, see what I did there? Brilliant, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you later. See you later. Ha <laughs> ha!